What's up Libra? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of March. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I'll put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. Second half of March. Any love messages for my Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Second half of March. I saw the King of Swords Libra, so maybe something calling for honesty, truth, conversation. It could be you and your masculine energy sort of wanting to have a conversation with someone. There's a Page of Swords, there's an Ace of Wands in the reverse and a Four of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Wheel of Destiny here in the upright and a Queen of Cups in the upright. Well, Page of Swords definitely could be communication, you and a person. A Page of Swords is also analysis, fact gathering. So you could have this sense that someone is watching you or there's a mutual kind of checking out, gathering information. Um, it could be in a situation where, look, the Ace of Wands in the reverse is where you feel like maybe the chemistry um, is dying or has, has been lost um, because, you know, Four of Swords, you could be on a bit of a break or have been on a break with, from a person or things have been at a rest state. I think there's a coming out of that. So there could be a, a reconnecting or suddenly there's a... a a new interest in in the situation you can feel like this person's showing interest or watching you or they're reaching out to you um, at one point though with ace of wands i mean the ace of wands is is the chemistry card it's the sex card it could be that that had had died um, but maybe now there's an analysis maybe it's about whether or not you want to reinitiate that or you want to rekindle that flame i'm going to see what they're offering with the Page of Swords, but maybe you're also looking at it through a new lens. Page of Swords is really looking at the situation and analyzing the situation. So maybe thinking about, you know, if there has been a break and a reconnect now, maybe it's about, is this actually in alignment for me? You know, the Wheel of Fortune is a shift. So there is a turn happening, but there's also maybe a turn happening in your heart space with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is where you want to invest emotionally. Um, so let me just take a look at this Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, there's a return of someone with whom you felt like the passion was lost, okay? The Six of Swords in the reverse is, it's like you haven't moved on, they haven't moved on, or it's not sort of done yet. Um, yeah, it's not done yet. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the reverse is the return, Libra, okay? So someone is returning here to this situation. Um, but like I said, I think maybe you have had a break and you're now sort of seeing things from a different perspective. So whether or not you, you decide you want to move forward and start again, or whether it's just a return for you to kind of get a fresh set of eyes on the situation or more information on the situation. Let's have a look. Yeah, things have been definitely at a rest. I think you've gone through no communication with this person with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands is also um, distance and travel. So maybe that's a factor. Maybe things haven't been moving forward because there is like geographical distance between the two of you. Hanged man, things have been on pause, but there's a, there's a reconnect. There's a return here. Um, there's a coming out of the cold, five of pentacles. So someone here felt left out in the cold in this situation. Hangman is one foot in, one foot out. So I feel you hadn't completely disconnected from this, even though there's been a break or a loss of passion or something like that. Um, let's see what this page of swords is offering us. Three of swords, okay. Definitely there's been hurt feelings or there's been a separation or a disconnect. Um, you've been analyzing that as well. Maybe you were left a bit like unclear on what had actually happened here, um, Libra, right? Uh, yeah, six of wands. They want your attention, Libra, or there's a sense of renewed success, or maybe now suddenly this person, they're giving you more attention, or like I said, they're coming out of this stagnancy and sort of there is this sense of recognition or success here. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is weird. What do they wanna... Um, I will get them specifically and what their actions are now or what their intentions are. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Yeah, you just felt, I think Libra, Four of Cups, 
I think you got to a point in this sort of stalemate or this break where you're like, I don't even know if this cup is for me, four of cups. You could have felt, and I'm not saying it's an ego thing, but it feels a little bit like an ego thing. You could have felt like you were there and you were giving your cup to someone and they sort of just didn't really take it. Four of cups can be that sort of feeling of emotional rejection. And now suddenly it's like their attention's on you. And so you're feeling a bit victorious about that, but maybe you're in a different space now. Like, you're not sure now if you want it kind of thing. Um, because I do think that things are shifting for you. Like you're having a new understanding of where you want to give your heart. The Queen of Cups is your intuition. So there could be something now about you looking at this situation and tapping into your intuition about whether or not that is what you really desire and want. Um, I think you've been waiting maybe for this recognition, Three of Wands. Even if it's just to maybe have closure or, or to understand a little bit more of what's happened. Um, yeah, there's definitely reconnection here. Um, let me get a little bit on this person and what they're feeling and what they're offering you. What are their feelings and intentions towards Libra? I just love the Seven of Swords. If you feel like this person tends to just sneak away, um, you know, from their emotions or isn't kind of upfront with you. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, Four of Wands. Knight of Cups, wow Libra, Queen of Wands, Five of Cups in the reverse. So they want to get past some kind of level of regret or sadness that they have around the situation. So they might regret something here if, if they snuck away or they just went cold. Um, they have regrets around that. And Six of Swords in the reverse, Libra, wow. Okay, so double Six of Swords in the reverse. They have not moved on. I was actually about to say that, but I can't call it. Um, they have not moved on from you, Libra, but they have regrets around maybe their behavior. They're coming in like Knight of Cups. So they're coming in wanting to be romantic with you. Maybe they were quite cold. Now they want to be warm and charming. Queen of Wands, so you're coming across as very attractive for sure. And the Four of Wands is reunion, stability, harmony. So let me just see why we have that Four of Wands. And then I want a bit more on these regrets, but why do we have that Four of Wands? Hierophant card, lovers, oh, good Lord. So Libra, this seems to be some kind of a shift in their energy. I mean, it looks like this person has some intentions um, to maybe come in and give you something a lot more committed with that Hierophant card. And the Lovers card really is about soul connection. So this person could have had some new sort of perspective on the situation as well, where maybe they're seeing you as someone like Five of Cups is regret. So maybe they regret not acting on this in the right way or sooner or something like that. Um, Lovers card, duality. I mean, maybe they were a bit indecisive about whether they wanted a relationship, but they are definitely coming in with sincere emotions with the Knight of Cups and they haven't moved on. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Six of Wands in the reverse. Libra, Six of Wands in the upright over here and Six of Wands in the reverse here. They feel like they don't have your attention anymore and I think that's getting to them. They want your attention. They don't feel victorious. I think they're seeing you as this person that's very magnetic. Queen of Wands energy, you're very with or without you. You're very independent. I feel it's almost like because you are coming across very like you don't even need them, right? They're feeling very drawn to you. We can argue whether or not that's a good thing, but I'm just, that's what I'm getting. So um, let's see what else we have. Why do we have all these regrets? What are these regrets all about? Six of pentacles in the reverse. They regret breadcrumbing you, Libra, basically. This is where maybe you were giving a lot and they were taking more than what they were giving or just coming in in dribs and drabs. Um, another thing to note with, you know, your energy where we had the queen of cups and the wheel of fortune in the overall. Um, there's something here about you having some kind of a karmic understanding. You may have had patterns in the past where you were giving a lot. A queen of cups tends to be when she's in her shadow, a bit codependent or she gives more than what she receives um, and can be a little bit lacking in self worth. And I think you've had to turn that around. There's been a shift and that might be why this person's coming in and wanting to be more generous with you. I'm not excusing their behavior, but you know, the Wheel of Fortune is actually, it's a major arcana. It's sort of like your lesson, that we, what you're learning. Um, there's a Fool card and a Ten of Cups and a King of Wands in the upright. Okay, so this person feels like they match you on a um, chemistry level, King and Queen of Wands. You both could be very, you know, but maybe both of your entrepreneurs 
or you're focused on your work. Maybe you're very focused on your independence and this person could be quite in independent or used to being very independent and maybe they have had a lot of fears or indecisiveness about actually being committed to anyone. Um, but the full card is like, I'm sort of wanting to take some kind of a leap towards what would actually make me happy. Perhaps this person thought that I'm hearing love is a risk with that full card and ten of cups. This person could have issues um, stemming from childhood. Maybe they don't believe in the happily ever after or they have some kind of fear of abandonment, something like that. But they want to take a risk, Libra. I mean, they're, they're leaping towards you. I think they want to build with you. This is fear coming up, Eight of Swords. I think they're realizing that fear was keeping them very stuck. Eight of Swords energy. Um, yeah, so we've got Aquarius. We've got Taurus energy. We've got Gemini. Um, yeah, okay, so what are they, what are they going to offer? Looks like something stable, Libra. At least that's their intentions. I don't know if you want it. Tower card. So something that's shocking and surprising. So you're not seeing this coming, basically, Libra. Um, and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. And one more. The Hermit. Okay, this person's had some kind of a shock understanding themselves or like a shake up in their world or in their, um, on a spiritual level around their patterns. All right, because look, the Hermit card is shining light here on a King of Pentacles in the reverse. So they're having a new understanding of why they have commitment phobia, why they have commitment issues, um, or why they weren't loyal. King of Pentacles in the reverse can be that they weren't loyal to you. They weren't showing up stable for you. They've had an understanding now maybe of where that came from. And I'm really getting it's come from fear, Eight of Swords. Not because they didn't feel attracted to you and not because they didn't feel like there was something very strong connecting the two of you with that lover's card. I almost feel like they got very spooked. And because I've got two of cups again and then the three of swords. So they see you as a soul connection and the three of swords is here as well. So they're feeling heartache. They've, they've been feeling the separation. And I think that they are trying to resolve what it was within them that contributed to, you know, maybe them running. Okay, Libra. Interesting. So there is that return. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Um, you're really now in your discernment or you're in your intuition trying to feel things out. And the four of cups, trying to decide if the cup is for you. I think you've had to work through your own emotional issues around rejection as well, you know, or feeling unworthy um, and sort of rewire yourself in that way so that you're not the one that's always giving out and not receiving, right? So um, let me get you a uh, Mystic Black Rose. Terms, working out, begging, negotiating. This person's coming back in to negotiate. And then I saw spirit. Okay, so they've had sort of some kind of an awakening or they're being guided by spirit back to you. Um, spirit, there it is. Okay, so this is divine intervention, guardian angel. Um, yeah, there's something spiritual at work here. And I think, like I said, this person is going through their own sort of spiritual epiphany or awakening with the tower card, right? So I just saw twin flames. I can take that. Now, it doesn't have to actually be a twin flame, twin flame, but this card to me means mirrored emotions. There is some kind of a mirroring here. Lover's card is soul connection, divine connection. You had something being mirrored back to you, Libra, about your sense of self-worth. I think you have fears around rejection or inadequacy or whatnot. This person does too. I just think that it plays out differently. I think this person ran and I think you were investing a lot because you were looking for that, that validation um, to soothe you of that kind of fear. You were feeling like this person was running away. And so anyway, you get what I'm saying. So there's the mirrored emotions. Um, blind, yeah, searching for answers. Okay, page of swords. I do think this person... This is coming in and I think they want to reconnect and they want to, they want to work through things with you. I think for some time maybe it, it might have felt like they weren't moving towards you or interacting with you or whatever, but I think they have actually been searching for answers, trying to get a deeper understanding of what's happened here um, or what caused the disconnect between the two of you or the running. And I think you've been sort of searching for answers like blinded to truth. You kind of just felt a little bit like what happened? 
okay? But it, it forced you to kind of go within and look at yourself, right? So they are definitely in that, they're coming out of this energy of hermit where they've been searching for answers, right? Because they had to look within to understand why they keep repeating certain patterns. Okay, what else? One more. Bottled up. Yeah, keeping things inside, not opening up. They weren't opening up, to, opening up to you, Libra. They didn't want to open up to you and that's led to hurt feelings, sadness, crushed. So they left you feeling quite crushed, but I also think inside they were quite crushed by what happened. Um, they've just been avoiding dealing with that, okay? But they understand now it was their own behavior because we've got Muse, okay? Emotional bond inspired by you listening to music, song lyrics. Okay, Libra, um, there you go. I hope that resonated for you. I think they're coming in here as the Knight of Cups, making an emotional offering. And I think their intentions now is like quite different to what you've dealt with, but you'll have to make a decision about what's right for you. You're also in a different space now. Okay, um, I will see you guys in two weeks. Lots of love.